Good day to all. I am Sri Lakshmi, uh, structural engineer, and uh, I would like to thank Glass Academy for giving me this opportunity to present the structural design of uh, facades. So basically, today we will be covering it, covering the topics of uh, types of facades, codes of practice for the design of the facades, loads for which the facade has to be designed and the structural checks for the safe design of the facade, stability of the glass using the finite element software such as StatPro, sealant bite and thickness requirement uh, uh, for in the facade, uh, the calculations and the check for the mullion or case study, check for the brackets and uh, spider glazing. So, uh, let us um, begin with the types of facades. So, it is very important for the designers or uh, the persons who is dealing with the curtain walls uh, to know the, the types of the different types of the curtain walls used in the industry. So, uh, there are mainly the, uh, the curtain wall has been classified as uh, uh, as uh, the three types that is the conventional uh, stick system. So, uh, semi unitized glazing, unitized glazing and point fixed uh, systems, tension rod, cable systems etcetera. So, to brief with the, um, the stick system, in the stick system the vertical mullions and the horizontal transoms are installed. Uh, and uh, it is and are installed and it is anchored onto the slab. So, the glass is fixed, the glass is fixed with the pressure plates and all these assemblies are done at the site. So, this the, the stick system especially is completely the site oriented work. So, wherein uh, it is very hard to achieve. Um, uh, the standards which has to be maintained. So, and it takes the longer installation period because the system is completely assembled in the site. Second, second is the semi unitized system. In the semi unitized system, so the anchors are pre installed that is the anchors and the brackets are installed at site on the slabs or uh, the supporting main structure and the whole panel is uh, assembled that is the mullions, the transoms are assembled at the factory and installed at site. Whereas, the glass is installed at site on these panels that is when compared to the stick system. So, uh, only the 90 per only the 10 percent of work is done at site. Since all the uh, the panels are assembled at the factory, it's the if it, the quality can be achieved. But still, the glass the glass panels uh, has been installed at site, wherein uh, it is very difficult to achieve the quality when it comes to the glass installation. The unitized system is. Um, completely factory made that is it is it is also called as unit panel system wherein the panels it is the panels are floor to floor height and these panels will be assembled at the factory along with the glass and brought to the site and the anchors and the brackets are uh, installed at the uh, are installed at uh, are installed onto the supporting structure and the panels are installed onto the brackets. So, he, in this the quality uh, can be maintained and it is very much less um, manual uh, effort is required. And also the labor time and the erection costs are in line or more in line with the stick system. So, in the point fixed glazing the glass is the point fixed glazing or structure called laminated or tempered heat strength or heat strength and any kind of as uh, glasses has been fixed in the 
using the fixed point that is called the spiders and these spiders are connected onto the glass fins. So, these uh, systems are very long lead time and are proprietary in nature, manufacture involvement early in the design process and is typical and defining ability components and structural capability. So, we will be dealing with all these uh, the structural calculation for all these types of glazings. So, let us take up the codes of practices which, which are commonly used in uh, the facade industry. To begin with, uh, it is the IS 8 Indian Standard Code of Practice of A 875 Part 1, Part 2, Part 3 which deals with the dead load, live load and the wind load uh, and the wind load. So, IS 8147. Uh, 1976 which has been uh, especially designed for the structural use of aluminum and ASTM 130007 has determined the load resistance in the glass and IS 800 is for the structural use of steel in the facades that is um, we will be making use of IS 800 in uh, the design of the brackets and all the structural uh, steel part which will be used in the facade. So, the loads to be considered while designing the facade. So, the first load will be the dead load which comprise of the, uh, the self weight of the panels and the glass dead load. These are the main dead loads which has to be considered in the design of the facade and live load especially the live load uh, normally in the vertical uh, facades there will be no live load will be acting on the uh, facade. So, it is only the BMU or uh, the maintenance load which, which has to be considered as uh, 75 kg per meter square or uh, it is uh, 0.75 kilo Newton as a single point load which is already specified in the IS 875 part 2. So, uh, the wind load if the wind load has been specified for the project by the client or the architect or the structural consultants the same can be followed. If the, the wind load has not been specified in the project we can always determine the wind load acting on the facades uh, using IS 875 part 3 that is Indian standard for to derive the wind load. And apart from the above main dead load, live load and the wind load, the earthquake loads also has to be considered and also the thermal load depending on the location where the project is, uh, uh, where the project is located. And apart from all these, again the these loads have to be considered along with the com combined loadings that is the dead load, live load, dead load, live load, wind load, dead load, wind load and the dead load, earthquake load, the thermal loads along with the dead load, live load, wind load. So, all these load combinations and the, the loads have to be followed as per the standard which has been set. So, let us go to the structural checks mainly especially what we have to do uh, for the uh, to make sure that the, um, the the facade is safe. The first check will be the stability of the glass under the wind load. The wind load is the main critical load which will be acting on the facades for which the glass the glass is directly subjected to. So, uh, we have to make sure that the glass panels are or the glass thickness which has been specified is structurally stable to carry the loads. I think in the previous um, uh, presentations you all might have um, uh, they all might have explained how, how the glass thickness is very important and how, how the um, the processing, the glass processing will help in the uh, strength of, will help in the increase in the strength of the glass. So, based on those factors, 
the glass we have to design the glass for the wind load and then the next comes is the sealant and the sealant bite thickness requirement. So, the next after the glass and the sealant bite is designed we will go with the design of the, the facade elements those are the mullions, the transoms, the mid transoms, the head and sill transoms and the openable panels, the sash frames etcetera. All these has to be checked for all the loads that is especially the dead load and the wind load and if any live load is acting on the facade. So, and after checking all the mullions, the transoms and the, uh, the main mainly the, uh, the structural elements of the facade panel, then we will go with the checking of the connections that is how the transom is connected on to the mullion, how the loadings is being transferred and how, how much how many bolts or the screws are required to connect the transoms to the mullion. And then the, the mullion is connected through the bracket on to the main structure where in the, the all the loads will be transferred on to the main supporting structure whether it is RCC or the steel or the slab or the beam whatever the, the main the main supporting structure the connection has to be designed which is very much critical. And if the facade if the main uh, the mullion is connected through the bracket and anchor onto the slab then the design of the anchors also has to be done based on the edge distance, the loads being transferred, the moment generated etcetera. So, to design all these panels the structural glazing uh, unitized system. So, the following software can be used such as StatPro, eTabs, Mepla is completely on to the uh, glass design software. Uh, any uh, any kind of finite element softwares can be um, uh, used to design the uh, glass uh, to design the unitized panels. And these, if 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 there is no approach for all any softwares, the above mentioned softwares, you can always use the theoretical approach because the um, because the panels behave as a continuous uh, uh, simply supported beam. So, we can always go with the theoretical approach also which is not not uh, advisable if, if the panels are if or if the geometry is quite complicated. So, uh, but still we can always go with the theoretical approach.